More than 12,000 people from around the world are attending the Internet of Things Tech Expo to see the latest innovations. Always AI is a platform helping to equip robots with computer vision. In this demo, a robot recognizes that the Hulk has fallen and needs help. In the real world, AI's capability to understand a pose has numerous applications. You could do fall detection like we're demonstrating here. You could do uh, athletic uh, tracking, uh, kind of to help athletes kind of hone in on, on their form. And you could use it for like weapons detection or you can quickly tell that someone is, is drawing a weapon or pretending to draw a weapon, right? And then you can have a system do something in response to that. Tracking becomes portable with sticker shock, which started on cricket bats. It's doing structural analysis of the bat when a ball impacts the bat. And we've trained it to t determine the difference between a, the sweet spot where hits are good and other areas where hits are not so good. The sticker has 11 sensors that detect everything from movement to environmental conditions. There's this entire arena of information that's missing from factories, from critical infrastructure. I mean, the things you want to know are, is something important to me about to fail? Is, did a pipe leak? Is this going to lead to a problem? And so these types of applications are perfect for this because it can sense changes, critical changes in infrastructure. Sensing changes in facial features is the job of Cyberlink's FaceMe, which uses AI and facial recognition to classify who it's seeing. FaceMe is being used or tested in at least 100 companies across the world. Let's see what it reads about my face. What's it show about me? Your emotion, percentage of the emotions, the age range, gender. The age here, um, it changes sometimes though, right? It does change. And if you smile or something, your wrinkles show and the older you'll get. Mm -hmm. and the less wrinkles you have, the younger you look. Cyberlink says one of the top uses is smart retail. You can either have uh, people who look at signage that you want to adjust dynamically based on their feelings, age, gender, so you can target what you do. Or it can be just for statistics collection in a store. You want to know where people have uh, put their attention and how they feel about it. Other applications include recognizing VIP customers or checking in airline passengers. I would be, feel much safer actually boarding a plane when my face is identified and I know that everybody else on the plane is matched at the last moment with that database then uh, let's say somebody who picks up a boarding pass on the floor for someone boards the plane and gets in when he or she is not supposed to be there. Tracking technologies like this also raise eyebrows over whether customers have a choice to give up their information, something that ultimately comes down to how businesses choose to operate and governments choose to regulate. Mark New, CGTN, Santa Clara, California.